Cassandra. What? Oh, you ready for this? Let me finish my cookie. Do, 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 it's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. Listen, you just gotta have hope. It's okay. If I keep thinking like that, everything will be okay. I might decide to. Don't give in to despair. Or despair. <laughs> donuts. I, what? I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. That's not her voice at all, but I just thought that was funny. Okay, look, we can see Owie's room. She's got two hydro flasks, and she wears her hair up in like a ponytail thingy. She's a visco girl. Confirmed. Visco girl. Damn, her room's it's kind of a mess. Same, girl. I mean, considering Blaze she's- Blaze donuts, nothing. twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled, donut holes, malasadas. Okay. I don't even know what that last one is. Oh god of donuts, I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Um that's ominous. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But for right now, for me donuts are absolutely necessary. What's that sound? Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. But I'm super scared, but is is someone there? <clears throat> Judith. I already did that song. One, one, one. Gabe, you good? Uh, uh, that face, that's... You good? Um, that's... That's who? Who's that? Woo! That name. Yes. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial... Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. Everyone. Parentheses. And I expected to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but, uh... uh I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. She said that her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy for um, her room for today. Oh. That's rational and unusual for her. Normally, she's so full of energy. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us then? After one of those sentence. I don't know. Just go. It looks that way. How about that? Impossible. Talk out. You never words, get over a bro's death. Yesterday. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close that he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro, and then having to watch Mondo get punished, nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well... So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. I'm all depressed just thinking about it. We simply have to make the best of things and do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That's the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well, 
Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, and our every need to see to. Why are you dissatisfied? In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world you long for? Is that okay? Com competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence? As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, in our, is our current situation not... Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess! Huh? Aww. Here we go! Maggie the Drill Shop Owner, the Bunny Eared Amazon, Cat Girl, Dog Boy, Robo Justice, the Galactic Knight, Galactic King, and Ant. What I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. Mastermind put such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Hmm. Searching. Do I have to read what he says now because he's actually going to be important to this trial somehow? What? Yeah. God damn! I've been skipping over his lines. <laughs> I'm right, right? What? Who I mean? Since the class trial's over and all. There should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> there might be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Uh, no, the plan is to look for clues. And just as we started starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, so I appear. <laughs> Nobody called for you! Uh, um... What the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Genocide Jack, whatever, it's... Ew. So, a while ago, this is the first time I'm talking for Jill, or, well, Jack, but the, a while ago I decided that I wanted hers to be like a crazy Valley Girl accent, because my other Valley Girl accent's gone, so, you know, is that acceptable? You do it. Okay. God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I could just be my murderous self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with this one personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. You I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um... But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> If she weren't here, my chance of survival would be go, out, we, go by at least 10%. Uh -huh. Okay. Come on, you gotta back me up here. What? What was that? Celeste? Hello? <sighs> you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. I've forgotten how to do a Valley Girl accent. It's gone. It's left me. What the fuck? Like, oh my god. Come on! Yeah, no, it's just not happening. What the yeah. fuck? Brain! Why? Yeah, that's because you tried to go southern. No, I'm not trying to go southern, though. But when yeah, I tried to but... do the valley girl, it goes southern. Yeah, that's because you do southern more often now. Because you're not doing just the valley girl now, you're doing all these southern accents for your... Your, your tuk-tiks and your... Excuse your vins. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. There we go. I got something. It's something. I'm good with that. <laughs> she got that. Yeah. Well, whatever we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. Okay, so yeah, we need like three girls to die during this trial because like... As is, I'm not going to be doing very many voices except for... Actually, no, I have the main character's voice. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah. It's fine. Let's just all the guys die. You're Oof. right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> so we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after a much needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I look at the clock too much these days, I mean, what's the point? Hope it doesn't become a habit. I might have trouble breaking it once I get out of here. Aha, coins. <laughs> okay, so, if we're thinking strategically, the next person we probably want to finish off is most likely Celeste, because we already have one thing of progress with her. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you want, we can do your fucking store shit now. I think we're technically allowed to in the game. Yeah. Just a second, I'm just, you know, give me a second, I'm trying to get to my hundred. Bathhouse. This should give me one. Huh. Walkers. There's nothing out of the nor ordinary about them. Nothing. A absolutely nothing. There's the massage chair. It looks pretty old. That is definitely not the door I went through. What? That one. No, right. that's to the sauna. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot there was a sauna in here. There we go. I wish I could bathe in that. Oh, Same. So nice. So warm. Also, this one's green, that one's blue, and I'm just imagining this is like an herbal bath, and... Yes. Sauna would be nice, too. The battle the two of them had here played its part in what happened. Just stop it. There's no point in thinking about it now. Alright. So, if you could do me a favor and look at what we have right now, item-wise. Once I get out of here, yeah. Okay. 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 So we don't have a number four. If we, we could get a number four, that would be helpful. Um, because she likes number four. Well, she loves it. Are there um, any more, uh... Items that we need for random scenes? No, just the one we have. Okay. And so, what other items might we need? Numeral. Um, the next one she loves is number 18. Okay, yeah. we've got three of those. That's good. And then 19, she also loves. I think and we're then, good. <laughs> yeah. And then 48. Yeah? Okay, I think we're good with her. That's ten. Yeah. To be fair, I want to give her something different every time. I don't want to give her repeat gifts. Fifty-nine. Nope. Okay. Um, Does it matter, or is it just for posterity's sake? Sixty-eight and sixty-nine. Well, we want to give her stuff she likes up until, like, the third level, which I think we're at the first... Technically. Okay. So we can give her one more like gift, I think, and then we want to give her love stuff. So, you said 68, 69. We got one of both. Okay, good. Then, yeah, we're actually fine. So, if you just want to buy shit to have shit, let's go off, I guess. Well, wait. Let's think about this. Who do we want to befriend after her? Well, considering I no longer know who dies anymore. Yeah. I say Owie just because I love Owie. I 100% agree. Aoi Asahina okay. is precious. Alright, so for Aoi... I'm assuming you're not going to bone me and, you know, she's the one who dies this time and I'll be super sad. And also, waste of time. That's crazy. No, why would I do that? Um, so for some reason in this guide, they use her name as Hida instead of, like, her actual name. Go for it. Haha! <laughs> Gambling time. Um. Mm, let's just. I'm gonna do ten of these. Mm hmm. 
And then I'm gonna save this for after we're done recording today. Okay. Right. That way I don't wanna put you through this. A pen! Okay. God, I wanna do more. Alright. So, I guess we should go explore now. Exploration? So you, yeah. What have you? you? Huh? No. If you what? To your right. No, but what did you say? I can't. I didn't hear you. I was just saying go this way. And then you started not going this way. Right, right there. Do you notice something? Yes. My, okay, so I am going the right way. I was I was going this way. I was just taking a roundabout way so I didn't get caught on anything. Ah, uh, it's open. So I guess now we can get in here too. Man, this sort of been useful to have for a while now. I don't know. Yeah. Even now, the mastermind is probably on the other side of that surveillance camera. Just thinking about it puts me on edge, but there's nothing I can really do about it. The trash bin? Okay. It's a normal trash can. There's nothing inside, so I don't really need to spend any time thinking about it. Me and every fucking Pokemon game, searching every goddamn trash can. What kind of monitor is this? Who would even make this kind of thing? Okay. A refrigerator. They must use it to keep drugs and stuff cold. Hell yeah, get some meth, brother. Oh. Really? There's nothing else to do in here? Nope. Okay, I'm guessing there's more unlocked somewhere. Yeah. Okay, well... Before we got something unlocked on the first, and then we unlocked the second floor. So. Mm hmm. No. Um. That would mean either we unlocked something on the second floor, or we unlocked access to the third floor, which would be right back here. So let's check that out first. Yep, we unlocked the third floor. <laughs> the third floor of Host Speak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Oh, look at look at that! It says a rec room. <laughs> it's my room. What? It's my room. Rec room. Yeah, I'm a total wreck. Okay. I wonder why she would enjoy this place. So this oh, is man, that's crazy. A recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I never would imagine a school having a place like this. Well, no normal school school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They've even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful to keep on board of it by. Considering magazines can got, be gotten through in a very short amount of time. No. Like, we're gonna get through that in no time and get really bored of them unless they're restocked. Listen up! <laughs> ring, ring, ring! Hello! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then. <laughs> and will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Sorry, no can do. Even if I want to, right now, magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Oops! Uh, nothing, no, 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 no. Anyway, that's it for my explanation. Bye-bye. I thought that's what he was implying. What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me, too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? He just implied that magazines are no longer being created. Which would imply that it really is post-apocalyptic out there. Or the world just thought magazines suck. <laughs> yeah, but he has implied other things that didn't suck no longer exist. There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here, or was it always part of the school? I imagine Monokuma just fucking slipped. 
slapped his name on everything that was already here. just this is mine now. <laughs> That's fair. These are all different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular <laughs> updates, what's the point? Wait, like monthly comics like manga? Or just comics, I think. Like Well you know, American yeah, comics. But it's Japan, so I doubt it. This well. looks like it's some kind of bottle, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's just for decoration or something. It has chess pieces inside of it. That... They're decorative bottles. Okay, so Naegi gets the pawn. Just a sec. Hmm. Who gets to be Rook? Somebody who can move infinitely but not change directions easily. Oh, yeah, Hina. She's uh, full of yeah. she's full of energy but isn't exactly flexible. A knight. Well, she's full of energy but not the smartest. Well, like I said, flexible. I was trying to be nice. Now, knight. Um, somebody who can sidestep you really easily and just Sock kinda... crow. Okay. Um, the bishop would be. Somebody who just slides right up in your DMs and stabs you in the back is totally Genocider Jack. Yeah. The Queen. That's Kiri. Okay. And the King. That's us! Wait, you said pawn. We're Damn the pawn. It. We're the pawn. We have infinite possibilities. Uh, I guess Biyaki to yeah, me. Yeah, it's because he's fucking useless. Well, okay. <laughs> At the King. Maybe it's just for decoration or something. Assuming I made it out of here alive, I'll never look at the surveillance cameras the same way again. Hmm. There's a copy of Othello here. I'm pretty bad at it, though. I thought Othello was a play. I did deadass not even know it was a game. Wild. Yeah, it, it's, it's a Japanese game. I only know of it because some anime that... that Hero was talking about, and I was like, oh, oh right. It's the one where you put down the little tiles and everything gets flipped. There's a table here. It's kind of similar to the desk in the classroom, but also kind of not. I honestly expected him to stop, but there's a table here. <laughs> 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 Would have laughed really hard. <laughs> These monitors really are everywhere. Okay. Um, last things last before I. There's a locker for stuff. Nagi's just like, eh, this doesn't seem important, even though I'm investigating. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Man, Nagi, you're the best investigator. Oh. I thought... No. I hate that. That's it. I mean, to be fair, it looks like the door from the outside, too, so... Yeah, but I wasn't really paying attention to the door on the outside. Pool table isn't normal school equipment. Is this thing's to Monokuma, or did the school buy it? Cool. Neato! Yes. Mm -hmm. So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. <sighs> I also found a huge ma machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Art! Hi. Go in. Just a second. What the what? hell is with this design? It's just a weird design. Just go in. <sighs> At first glance, this seems like any normal art room. But something is about <coughs> seems off from multiple somethings. Hmm. Why we have some Monokuma statue or whatever. Oh, I honestly did not even see that. I was just looking over here and was like, okay, devil, this guy has titties. How many kids drew the same picture of some green dude with glasses? And also an alien. Green guy. The Venus statue, yep, definitely very art room ish. 
That door in the back is to an extra room, just so you know. I figured that out based on the way we walked in. You never know what this is. It's a locker, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside. Okay, at least he checked. Paintings lining the walls. This is really art. She looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. Yep, wow. Maggie, the art, dude. I was actually I trying to... say art critic. Yeah, I figured out what you meant. There you know. We're... Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever mm. want meant to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. And he gave us he just walks up and drops Obviously. a coin in our hand for saying that, for thinking that, I should say. Statue of Neo. I've never really heard of anyone using a Neo statue for life drawing classes or whatever. I don't know who Neo is. Well, well, look at all the equipment. Seriously, scratches that artistic rage of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they're also collect all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Fumi, do you like sculpting figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are, like, borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Chiranbo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo's Ron Pongi makes. I, I like that second one. Chiranpo's ability to express the movement in his muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkin is like a little sculpture fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. Saburo Ronpolgi, meanwhile, is known for this Mecha Musume series, which leads to a worldwide tour. Wait, isn't Musume... I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's Monster or something, isn't it? No, because it's... Monster Musume. Okay. Um. Oh, oh, Daily Life of Mecha, I guess. That's Who weird. Knows? Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four, but one of your Elite is missing. <laughs> well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid, now doesn't. Team Three Star! Yes, indeed. Besides, the empty seat is rightly belongs to me. <laughs> it begins today's my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. Well,. I see. Good luck with that. Alright. I've done my time. I've done my waiting 12 years of it in Azkaban. Mm. Oh. Um. What? Hello, dead kids. This is a repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. Oh, naughty children, time to die! There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if it's on its own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in the picture was Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling. What is this? Questions start racing through my head one after another. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? In the picture, the window of the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean wherever the picture was wild. taken. It wasn't here at Hope's Peak. But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and any chance I had it answers evaporated. Ah, you peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, hmm? Isn't they were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book of youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing. Why can't you give me a damn straight answer? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. Hey, art supplies. A dolly, they must use it to move all the statues around. Alright, just the mallets. There's some wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. So 
I found my piece of evidence here. I found this mm. guy. 